Hello, Internet! How's it going? This is Kurt from Parade the Gospel. Hey, I was just uh, working on some stuff and I'm kind of bored and I'm like, well, I'll just make a quick little video and just talk about some stuff and whatever. We'll see what I'll talk about. But what I'm doing right now tonight, let me flip my camcorder around here. I am working on organizing all my 5,000 gospel tracks I ordered the other day from Gospel Tract Planet. I ordered that one, and that one, and that one right there. And uh, great messages on the back, they're all unique, and you can watch that video. So I have 5,000 of them, and what I want to do is I'm going to um, uh, just kind of separate them a little bit. So I have um, one of these, one of those, and then three of these, because I ordered like more of the uh, nativity ones. Um, then more of the, uh, what's it called, the Franklin Millions, and then a little bit less of the Santa Bucks. So, three of the, of the Nativity ones, one Santa, one Franklin, and each of the five, these are separated into 500s. And then I have six of these left over. So, and I had a leftover um, Santa one, so I actually had 5,100. But anyway... Uh, what I want to do is um, I'm going to open all these up and I'm going to uh, shuffle them and the reason uh, behind that it's not really a big deal really but it's just something I like to do because sometimes you handle gospel tracks um, to multiple members of the same family or group and I just thought that um, you know if you can separate the message a little bit I mean it's the same gospel message really but it's just kind of more unique to give them a different tract, um, each member of the same family. So they might like share and compare and whatever. So just, I don't know, simple idea. So um, that's what I'm working on right now. And we're gonna have lots of other tracks. These are uh, gonna be for Christmas parades that we'll be doing and maybe some other Christmas events. But 5,000 tracks, man, that, that goes quick. If you're doing a parade event, I mean, you can do other events too and the tracks just they still fly out of your hands, but maybe not as much as a parade event. And uh, parade events are probably biggest during the Christmas season. Um, at least around here, I'm from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. That's kind of near Green Bay, um, pretty much in between Green Bay and uh, Milwaukee. And to the east of us is the lake, so nothing over there. But then the west of us, we have Appleton, and that's a pretty big city and lots of towns and stuff you know scattered about and we try to hit as many parades as we can but um, let's see for example um, how many gospel tracks we can get out in the parade now parade sizes vary but um, this past 4th of July we, w we went to Oshkosh and we gave out like we, we didn't count or anything but definitely for sure over 2,000 and probably 3,000 um, there was some other people with us, and I think we had like 1,500, but I kept on grabbing some tracks from this other guy. His name is also Kurt, and uh, he had a bunch of tracks, and he had like two or three other people that, you know, came with him. And then, and then I had my friend Luke with us, so we gave a ton of tracks that day. So, yeah, 5,000 sounds like a lot, but it'll go pretty quick. Um, I was talking to this guy on YouTube on this one video and he said that in um, I think it was Denver or Dallas I think it's Dallas Texas I don't know but uh, somewhere anyway he said that there was a, uh, this parade some kind of children's parade that supposedly has 400,000 people in it 400,000 people <laughs> I can't imagine what that would look like I mean I don't know if maybe he had a typo or something, maybe it was 40,000, I don't know, but 40 or 400,000 people. There's only like 33,000 people in my city of Manitowoc. How many times does 33,000 fit into 400,000? A lot. I can't imagine what that would look like. I can't imagine how much I would spend on gospel tracks if I were in that parade, but I guess he does that parade, um, some guy on YouTube. So, also I wanna show you guys what I discovered. Um, <clears throat> I'm watching this video right now by this guy named Lonnie, Lonnie Mathern. I don't know how well you can see that. I have a cheap video camera right now. 
uh, Noah Gospel Tracks. Check that channel out on YouTube. He's a street preacher, and he's got a lot of great content on here. I haven't checked out everything, but he's got quite a number of videos on here. Uh, lots of street preaching videos, um, and there's a lot of stuff to check out. And I like watch. I mean, I'm, I don't um, street preach myself as far as like in the open air. But I give a lot of credit to those guys who can uh, do that stuff. Um, and someday, maybe I will do some open air. I mean, I've always imagined myself doing stuff like that. Um, but we all have our strengths. I mean, I, I'm probably better at one-on-one -on -one right now. Um, and you got guys like um, Lonnie, who are like super brave and courageous. They can just go out and you know proclaim the gospel out in the open. And that's really awesome. I give them a lot of... Uh, credit for that um, and there are some other guys too that do that that I know as well especially around here but uh, anyway um, that's not what I wanted to show you I mean what well, is one thing I guess I would like to show you but there's another thing um, so <clears throat> I think it was Lonnie actually or somebody told me about uh, uh, he commented on this other video that I made about using uh, address labels to put on the gospel tracks. It's a little bit more difficult on the million dollar bill tract. I mean, you can make it happen. You just have to cover up some of the design or the text. So what I wanted to do is get a stamp, uh, a hand stamp. Somebody mentioned that to me, and I've seen it before on other gospel tracks that we have used from other people. So I found this website, uh, rubberstamps.net, and... Um, the smallest stamp that I could find, because I, I need something small and something thin if I want to put it like on uh, the outer rim somewhere, or maybe I can have it like on a side, or um, going up and down like that, sideways, uh, somewhere on one of these, like maybe this one somewhere. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but uh, this is the smallest um, one. It's about uh, 0.34 inches by almost two inches. And it's um, the font is at eight, the font size. So that might work. I've got some uh, empty room up here, empty room down there. That might just be thin enough. So what, what we've done in the past for our address labels is I like to put down prayer, questions, free Bible. We got free Bibles to give out if anybody wants any. And then my email address. It's one of our email addresses that my friend and I use, burdenoflovewisconsin at gmail.com. Um, yeah, so, you know, it fits. It's it's uh, small enough. I was just thinking about putting burden of love Wisconsin at gmail.com or, web, or uh, not website, but email address. But, uh, hey, if I can squeeze in a few other things, prayer questions, free Bible, then I'll try to do that. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's about $20 for this one. You can get bigger um, stamp sizes as well for, you know, other gospel tracks that you might want to use. So you can change the uh, font and the font size if you want it um, bold or, ital or italicized, underlined, change the ink color. And uh, you can have two text lines for this particular stamp, the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to use one line. And uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to order this right now. I don't really have <laughs> the money right now. My, my, uh, one of my vans broke down. I think Lonnie, if you're watching this, you might uh, relate because you just had a vehicle that went down and my Mazda van went down. It's with well, the battery's dead, it's le leaking from the fuel tank. Um, but right now it's mostly the battery. I'm going to wait till payday on Friday, get that thing fixed, and uh, we'll just go from there. But anyway, um, I think there's something else I wanted to mention. Um, Oh, the shirt I'm wearing. It is cross, or excuse me, yeah, crossover athletics. Now, my wife's mom's brother, or no, my wife's mom's brother's son, I think it is. <laughs> uh, he was a pastor. He passed away. He had some kind of rare uh, heart disease or something. Um, I'm not sure if I ever met, I ever met the guy, but I guess he was a real big pastor in the Fox Valley area. And uh, I think it was him and his brothers that started this ministry. Um, it, it was a clothing line. Um, they had all these different shirts and stuff. And um, I used to be a pretty athletic guy. I've gained some weight over the years, the past couple of years. My face is 
lot more chubbier than what it used to be. Um, used to be big into running and even much bigger into bike racing. Um, I had some weird health issues over the past number of years. It's kind of hard to explain because I can't put a name on it. I thought maybe it was MS um, or maybe Lyme disease, uh, chronic Lyme disease. Um, then I kind of got better in the last year a little bit and you know, I'm just kind of on and off. But yeah, my hair is kind of messy right now. I took a shower. I never even cold my hair. But <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I used to be big into athletics. So I, I like their shirts. And the reason why I like their shirts, uh, I like to take these shirts out sometimes and I uh, share the gospel at different events. And the reason for that being is I'll actually show you. I'm going to take my shirt off, but don't worry. I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> But uh, just give me one second. Because on the back of these shirts, it's got a Bible verse. John 5, 24. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. And of course, Jesus said that. Now, let me get my shirt back on. Um, <clears throat> they do come in different colors, and they have other um, athletic wear as well. I'm not sure all of them have the Bible verse on the back, but those do. I like it a lot. I'm going to try to find it online real quick, um, show you guys the website. So maybe if you want to wear something like that when you're out uh, street preaching or whatever. Um, so it's cross over or is it crossed over with an ed at the end i'll just try cross over cross over athletics cross over athletics.net could this be it any day now <laughs> Actually, I don't think this is it. Hmm. Let's try crossed over. Sorry to make you guys wait. I don't think I have a pause on my camcorder here. Crossover athletics. Well, did they like shut their business down maybe I'll have to find it and if I find it I'll put it in the um, info section down below let's try to type it in Appleton Wisconsin see if that does anything oh maybe the cross over athletics.com okay Dot com and not dot net. So here it is, Crossover Athletics. It's got John 524 on the back of some of their shirts. Um, so I thought I'd just give them a shout out. No, I'm not getting paid by them for sharing this. In fact, I just kind of decided to share this at the last minute before I decided to make this video. When I found I was bored, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a video. Um, It's just a great Bible verse, John 5, 24. And it could spark conversation, especially as you're out there sharing the gospel. So I think that'll do it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do have plans for a lot of other future videos. And keep in mind that this channel primarily exists to uh, show people different ways to share the gospel. Uh, especially if you're somebody who's maybe not shared the gospel before. So some of this stuff, like if, if you're um, Alani, <laughs> the, uh, the guy I showed you before, if you're like him, you know, you've done this stuff forever, you know, a lot of this stuff on here that I might share, not everything, but some of the stuff I share on here might be like, oh, okay, well, I already, you know, that's, a, I've done that before, or, you know, it's a no-brainer or whatever. But, um, you know, this website or this uh, channel exists to show people different ways to share the gospel maybe they have not thought of it before maybe i can be an encouragement and also and especially also um 
if you're really a shy person. I'm a terribly shy person. I have huge social anxiety issues and all that. Um, I'll get into that story maybe in another video. I'll give you my life story and everything. But if I can encourage somebody to share the gospel who thinks that maybe they are ill-equipped, um, they don't have the skill of speaking to people or whatever, well, you can still do it. Trust me. And I hope to uh, encourage people with those videos. And I got lots of plans, um, lots of ideas. I actually wrote a list down of different ideas that I want to make videos about. So. Lots of stuff to come. I just I want to space them out a little bit. I don't want to be uploading stuff like every single night. So I try to space it out a little bit. Um, but lots of ideas, and um, I can't wait. So before I keep blabbing on, I'm going to end this video now. So um, yeah, God bless you guys, and we'll talk to you again.